Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Lemonary. Today we're going to talk about a reading practice that we have used in two of my classes so far, and it's called Lectio Divina, which means divine reading, loosely translated. And it's a way to enter into scripture that is different than um, kind of studying it intensely and looking through history and context and things like that. It's a way to enter into scripture so that you can hear the voice of God and that the Holy Spirit can speak to you in a new, fresh way. And so we've used this a couple different times in some of my classes. And I'm going to go through um, a brief tutorial on how to engage in this type of scripture reading. So if you haven't done this before, it might be a little awkward at first. I know it was awkward for me. Um, I'm not somebody that really likes to sit in silence. So the first part was kind of hard to just be silent. Um, but we can't hear the voice of God if we don't offer times for silence in our life. So to begin, um, you're going to begin with a time of silent preparation. <clears throat> so this is where you become quiet in the presence of God and you're expressing your desire to hear directly from God. So go to a place that's quiet, that you won't be interrupted, a time of the day that you won't find distractions, and allow the busyness to settle down until there's quiet in your soul and in your mind. And you'll want to choose a passage. Um, it could be any passage. It could be um, a section of scripture. It could be an entire chapter. But you'll want to choose a passage to read or listen to at least four consecutive times. And when I have done this, I found it um, maybe a little bit more beneficial since I read so much already. Um, anytime I have the opportunity to hear and listen to the word or to listen to a prayer, um, I choose an audio version. So when I have practiced this, I've found um, on YouTube, you can find the um, like NIV translation version of the Bible or there are Bible apps that you can use. Um, so I've actually listened to somebody reading this out loud or I've read it out loud myself. Um, that helps me but if it helps you to read it quietly um, within your own thoughts and mind, you can do that as well. But the goal is each time that you're reading or listening to the passage, you're going to ask a different question. And these questions are not pre-prescribed. Um, they come from your heart. It's a question that the text is asking you to ask. So don't force them, just sit and allow the silence to bubble up questions that you have for God um, in relation to the text. So we're gonna go through the four times that you read through scripture. Um, the first time is called the Lectio part, the reading part. So you read or listen to the passage once or twice. While you're doing this, listen for the word or phrase that strikes you. This word somehow stands out from all the rest. It causes a deep sense of resonance or resistance. Um, the mood is still calm and gentle and reflective. After reading, spend a brief time of silence remaining in the word, savoring it and repeating it without trying to figure out what it means or why it was given. So this is a way to slow down and read through a passage and see which part of that passage God wants you to hear from that day. And you could do this with the same, um, same section multiple different times at different days and God could be speaking a new thing to you each time. So it's just being open to which part of the passage God wants you to really pay attention to. So the next part is the meditatio, the meditation part. So this is where you read the passage a second or third time and you reflect on the way your life is touched by this word. You ask questions like, what is it in my life that needed to hear this word today? Or if the passage is a story, where am I in this text and what do I experience as I allow myself to be in this story? Again, there's a brief period of silence to stay present with God and whatever comes from the reading. 
So rather than thinking too much about the passage, just keep coming back to the word that was given to you or the words. The third time through is oratio. Um, listen for a challenge or an invitation based on your word or phrase. So you read through the passage again, and this is the first and unedited response to what was heard. It's the prayer that comes most naturally from you in response to what God has said. Allow it to flow freely in the moments of silence that follow. Perhaps the reading has touched on a place of pain, frustration, or anger. If so, pour out these feelings in the safety of this moment. Perhaps you're overwhelmed by some way in which God shows his love. And in the silence of this love and gratitude, let those things flow. Just soak in whatever God is speaking to you in that moment. And then the fourth time through the reading is the contemplatio, contemplation. So this is where you rest and ponder how you might live that word that you have received. So this is kind of like the application stage. So you've listened several times, you've heard a word, you've prayed on that word, you've let the feeling of that word um, just kind of rest in your soul. And then you spend time resting and thanking God for the gift of his word and for God's dynamic presence in your life. And you consider how what you have read or heard from God today is to be lived out. So this is not a really methodical um, way of reading the Bible to uh, pull out lots of application. This is a way to just spend time in God's word and to have him speak to you. Um, if you're somebody who has often struggled and said, I don't think God has ever spoken to me. I've never heard God speak to me. Um, I challenge you to try this because I was very skeptical whenever I first tried this. And after I went through it, um, I was really kind of blown away by what happened and how the word really is the living word and how God can speak to you in a text that is so ancient, but it's still so new. Um, so I really challenge you guys to try this, to maybe add it a couple times to some of your spiritual practices, or if you're looking for a new spiritual practice to um, try out or take up, um, I challenge you guys to try this and let me know how it goes because we talked about it in our classes after we experienced it and it was really cool to see how God was speaking to different people in different ways. So if you try this, feel free to comment on the video below and let us know how God spoke to you. Um, if it's something that you feel like he wants you to share. If it's something that's just between you and him, then just keep that private. But I hope you guys uh, find this helpful. I hope you can add a new way of reading to um, the ways that you engage in the word. And I hope that God can speak to you through his word in a new and fresh way as you approach his word in silence and reverence and wait for him to speak to you.